Hey folks, Draven Wildchild here, and today we're going to be setting up an Alesis Nitro. So there you have it, the rack is built. Uh, now let's get the brain and the pads on. Now this one is specifically labeled snare pad, so I'm going to assume that it's a dual zone and that's why it's a snare pad. So let's get it on, we'll find out. I done a bit wrong. Ta -da. Actual round symbol shaped symbols. Pretty cool. Really simple, but does the job. So I didn't actually notice before the other two are single zone. This, however, has a choke. Perfect crash. Voila, and there you have it. That is an Elise's Nitro. Now let's see it working. Okay, so moment of truth, does it power up? It does indeed. It is alive.
Okay, well, so far, pros and cons. Um, pros, it's very lightweight, incredibly portable. Um, dual zone snare drum, which is fantastic, so now I, have, I can do side stick and rim shots as well as just snare notes. Um, chalk on the crash symbol, but that doesn't seem to be working, um, but I'm gonna have a look at that and see what we can do with it. Um, downside is that the, um, the actual rack to me, it's just a little bit too light. It just feels a little bit cheap and flimsy. But I think what I would do is take the rack from my Medelli and use the pads from this, um, or whichever combination of light, really, because thankfully, the thing with the lease is it's all Medelli hardware. But the difference is in the drum brain. The, um, it's all the lease is programmed, and you can tell the difference, because normally, I never, ever use the inbuilt preset kits with an electric drum kit, I always use a VST uh, because my Medelli, the presets are not fantastic. Um, some of the Yamahas I've played, some of them are all right, but a lot of the sounds are still not great. Even some of the Roland kits that I've played, but the Alesis module, it's, the kits are incredible. Uh, I had a little flick through them earlier and uh, I'll do more demos later on with the different sounds, but um, yeah, the, the sample kits on this are fantastic. They sound absolutely great and I love it. So I think what I will probably do is kind of merge the two and uh, transfer everything over onto the rack from my original E kit. And um, yeah, take it from there. So watch out for uh, more videos coming from this little kit soon because it is a great little kit. I love it.